Christmas Day. It's good to be here with you on Christmas Day. Christmas Day is often a special day. Uh, a lot of special things seem to happen on Christmas Day. One of them a long time ago. In 1863, that was the day that Henry Wadsworth Longfellow was actually inspired to write his great poem that became the carol that we know and love as I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. You see, Longfellow wrote this poem out of his depression and his discouragement. A couple of years earlier, in 1861, his second wife, Frances, had died. She had been sealing envelopes with hot wax when the flame caught her clothes on fire. Henry rushed to her aid and tried to smother the flames, but he was unable to. And by the time the fire was out, Frances had been burned beyond recovery. She died the next day. Longfellow was ba burned quite badly as well, so much so that he was unable even to attend her funeral. This death marked a turning point in Longfellow's life. He had been prolific writing wonderful poems. He had received honors from, from universities such as Oxford and Cambridge in England, and in fact, had been hired by Harvard University to teach. He had experienced happiness and success and wealth. And then this blow came. But that wasn't the end of it. It was 1861, you remember. A war was occurring, a war in our nation, a civil war. And in 1862, Longfellow's oldest son, his 19-year-old son Charlie, ran away from home. In spite of his father's wishes, he ran away to join the army. And as luck would have it, he was injured, severely injured, in one of the battles, a bullet went through from back to shoulder. It nicked his spine and paralyzed him for a time. He nearly lost his life. Longfellow recovered him from Washington and brought him home to Massachusetts and to try to set about helping him to recover. And it was in these circumstances, with this war raging on in the South, with his son home fighting for his life, still grieving the loss of his beloved wife, that Longfellow, that Longfellow wrote the poem. These circumstances has challenged his resolve, but he was inspired. Well, let me read the poem and you can tell. 
I heard the bells on Christmas Day, their old familiar carols play, and wild and sweet the words repeat of peace on earth, goodwill to men. It sounds familiar. And thought how as the day had come, the belfries of all Christendom had rolled along the unbroken song of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Till ringing, singing on its way, the world revolved from night to day, a voice, a chime, a chant sublime of peace on earth, good will to men. And then, from each black, accursed mouth, the cannon thundered in the south, and with the sound the carols drowned of peace on earth, good will to men. It was as if an earthquake rent the hearthstones of a continent and made forlorn the households born of peace on earth, goodwill to men. And in despair, I bowed my head. There is no peace on earth, I said, for hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Then pealed the bells more loud and deep. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail, with peace on earth, good will to man. Longfellow used that refrain, the refrain that the angels had shared with shepherds on that Christmas day thousands of years ago. His son, Charlie, never did return to the fight, even though he wanted to. He was honorably discharged, and Longfellow's poem was published in a magazine. And about 10 years later, in 1872, it was set to music. And it's had a great life ever since then. You know, I love all the images of light that we find in the Bible. In Luke 2, there is one in particular, and we don't often look to those. I, I sometimes have read some of the images of light, but in Luke 2, verses 30 and 32, it's Simeon who says, I have seen your salvation. He is a light to reveal God to all people. Isn't it wonderful? Sometimes God's light is shown in unexpected ways and it's interesting that sometimes God light, God's light is revealed even in sound. And that seems to be the case here. You know, it, um, we reach for God in so many ways. We reach through the scriptures, through worship, through art and music, through prayers and people, and other ways that we're often unaware of. But, you know, as much as we reach for God in all these ways, God is reaching for us even more. Our search for God and God's search for us, like I said, they meet in the most unexpected places. And they use the most mundane and everyday sorts of things. If our eyes and our ears and our hearts are open, we just might catch a glimpse of glory. It seems on that Christmas day, it took some church bells ringing to help Longfellow remember that there is such a thing as peace on earth. There is such a thing as goodwill to all people. It's God's desire for us. And as I said, if our hearts are open, we may be able to see it too, maybe even through our ears. God bless you this Christmas day. Amen. I heard the bells on Christmas day Their old familiar carols play And wild and sweet the words repeat Of peace on earth, goodwill to men I thought of how the day had come, the belfries of all Christendom had rolled along the unbroken song of peace on earth.